Today, I'll be talking about fermented brown rice and rice bran delayed onset of spontaneous type 1 diabetes in NOD mice. This slide shows the today's lecture contents. At first, I'll talk about the tested food, Fubura, and its feature, uh, its characteristics, and animal model of type 1 diabetes, and then about the suppressive effect of Fubura in this model mice. Tested food in our study is brown rice and rice bran fermented with Aspergillus orize. I abbreviated to Hubura in the following explanation. This is a processed food and commercially available in Japan. According to this procedure, rice bran and brown rice are steamed and inoculated with Aspergillus orizae, so-called koji. After fermentation for approximately 12 hours and then 20, approximately 20 hours with stirring, the fermented product were dried by heated air. The final product, raw powder hubula, look like yellow powder and were provided by the company and mixed into experimental rodent diet. This slide shows general ingredient of hubula used in our study. Hubula is rich in partially digested fiber, minerals, vitamins, and buran derived phytic acid. Koji derived enzyme activities and superoxide elimination activity are also included. Polyamines such as putrecin, spermidine, and spermin are major natural polyamines found in all eukaryotes and most prokaryotes and are essential for cell growth, proliferation, and tissue regeneration. Brown rice contains these polyamines, and uh, during the fermentation process, increase of spermidine has been demonstrated. Ergotionine is a histidine beta in derivative with a thiol group in the structure and is known as a very stable antioxidant. It was first isolated from an agat fungus and A. orize also have the producing activity. During the fermentation process, ergotionine content in hubula became greater than those in the brown rice and fermented white rice. Brown rice, especially rice bran, originally contains many kinds of plant polyphenols and phytic acid. Fermentation process of rice bran with A. orize have increased hydroxycinamic acids such as ferulic acid in fubula. These plant derived polyphenols, uh, these plant derived polyphenol compounds have been known to be strong antioxidants and have also been well demonstrated to be anti-diabetic. For example, as summarized by Bob et al. and Masazaki et al., flavonoids and gamma orizanol showed beneficial effects against diabetes through various mechanisms in vitro and in vivo, including reduction of apoptotic cell death and or promoting proliferation of pancreatic beta cells. In addition, in vivo anti-inflammatory effects of hubula have been demonstrated as described here. In rodent model, hereditary hepatitis, dextran sulfate sodium-induced, chemically-induced colitis, 
and inflammation promoted、uh, tumorigenesis model. Tumorigenesis was suppressed by dietary administration of 5% and 10% of fubula. Therefore, we plan to examine a suppressive effect of fubula against autoimmune mediated type 1 diabetes in animal model. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease caused by pancreatic islets targeting immune cells. Cytotoxic T cell mediating immune attack induces insulitis, a pancreatic tissue inflammation. Activated immune cells also release pro inflammatory cytokines such as interferon gamma, and these cytokines induce the production of reactive oxygen species. In pancreatic islet beta cells. Continuing inflammation will damage islet beta cells and decrease its number in pancreas. Generally, mammalian pancreas possesses a regeneration potential against the damaging stresses to maintain its important function of regulating blood glucose concentration. But if Pancreatic inflammation will continue severely or for a longer time. Islet beta cells completely decrease and result in insulin depletion and then onset of diabetes. This is our used model NOD, non obese diabetes. Mouse is a well known model of type 1 diabetes. This mice develops insulin dependent diabetes spontaneously and it shares many features with human type 1 diabetes. The onset of insulitis is controlled by multiple genes and T cell dependent autoimmune responses is considered to be responsible for the pathogenesis. The incidence rate is higher in female, 70 to 80% for emails become diabetic up to 30 weeks of age. Since a spontaneous onset model is often used to examine food components or probiotics, we use this mildly occurring. Model of NOD female mice. From five week old, mice were fed basal diet or a fubra containing diet throughout the experimental period. Body weight and glucose urea were weekly checked, and if glucose urea positive mice was found, their blood glucose was measured to,、uh, on two consecutive days. To confirm the onset of diabetes. At the end of experiments, pancreas was resected and immediately fixed in formalin solution to prepare tissue sections for insulitis evaluation. This slide shows the first result an appearance of mice with glucose urea. In the control diet fat group, an appearance The first diabetic mice appeared at 20 weeks of age, and the ratio of diabetic mice increased and reached to 57% at 30 weeks of age, while 5% fubula fat group is almost similar to the control diet group. Onset of diabetes in 0.5% fubula group. Slightly delayed, and the ratio of diabetic mice did not increase. This difference was not significant in this experiment, probably because of small number of mice in this group. Then we compared the groups at insulitis level at 30 weeks of age. Left panel shows the criteria for grading of islets with insulitis. As described in the Ceres et al. 
based on the severity of lymphocyte, lymphocyte infiltration, the islets were graded to score 0 to 4. And already diabetic mice were assigned to score 5. Right panel shows the number of islets graded to score 0 to 5 in individual mice. Compared to con control diet group, in 0.5% fubula fat group, intact score 0 blue islets still remained. Still remained. Low score islets are more and severely damaged score score four islets were less. In Sritis score, in Sritis score of each mice was calculated as described here. Total accumulated score of observed islets in each mice is divided by total number of observed islets. This score is used for comparison among mice groups. This slide shows the insulitis levels at 12 weeks of age and 30 weeks of age among the groups. Insulitis score at insulitis score was still low at 12 weeks of age in all groups, but at 30 weeks of age increased in control group and the ratio of intact islets decreased to 10% of total observed islets. On the contrary, 0.5% fubula group, the ratio of intact islets significantly higher and the insulitis score was significantly lower as compared to the control group. 5% fubula fat group did not show significant effect on insulitis level as well as the appearance of diabetic mice. Representative pancreatic sections are shown in the right panel. Lymphocyte infiltration into pancreatic islets was observed in all mice but in the 0.5% fubula containing diet fat group, small intact islets indicated with white arrow are often were frequently found. The dietary concentration of fubula in this experiment were decided to 0.5 and 5% based on the previous research results and the recommended dose as a, suppl as a supplemental food for human consumers. <laughs> in our experiment, optimal concentration of hubula in the basal diet was examined at the indicated concentrations. In 3D score, decreased in a dose-dependent manner and was lowest at 0.5%. The ratio of intact islets was also highest at this concentration. Then the delayed onset of diabetes was confirmed with an increased number, increased number of mice between control and 0.5% fubula fat group. At 24 weeks of age, the appearance of diabetic mice was significantly lower in the fubula fat group as compared to the control group. These results indicate that dietary administration of fubula in NOD female mice could keep higher ratio of the higher ratio of intact islets significantly lowered the insulitis score and suppressed the spontaneous onset of type 1 diabetes, with 0.5% addition being the optimal concentration. In control diet fed NOD mice, 
Autoreactive T cells are priming in pancreatic lymph nodes at around three weeks of age, and islet targeting T lymphocytes infiltrate into pancreas to attack islet beta cells. If islet specific if islet specific autoimmune effector T cells are continuously activated and become more than the immune regulatory cells, islet beta cells will be sequentially destructed and finally depleted. Inflammatory cytokines promote the damage of islet cells in coupled with stimulation of growth production. On the other hand, even in adults, the mouse pancreas retains regenerative potential for damage of islet beta cells. So, uh, dietary fibula or its components may act in autoimmunity and inflammation step and or in the step of cell death or regeneration after autoimmune injury of the pancreas. This slide shows T lymphocyte populations at 12 weeks of age in spleens and pancreatic lymph nodes. Pro-inflammatory cytokine interferon gamma released from activated T cells has an important role as a trigger of inflammation. However, the percentage and number of CD4 positive interferon gamma positive effector T cells were not significantly different between control and 0.5% fibula fat group. <laughs> Next, in adoptive transfer experiment, we examine whether dietary fibula inhibit an activation step of islet targeting T lymphocytes or not. As shown here, T cell fractions were prepared from donor NOD mice with or without fibula treatment and transferred into recipient skid no T lymphocyte having mice with or with or without fibula treatment. Four weeks later, insulitis levels in each recipient mice were assessed on pancreatic tissue sections. This slide shows the number of scored islets in individual recipient mice. Compared to the control diet group, fibula feeding, fibula feeding to recipient mice retained more intact score zero islets, while higher score islets were also found. On the other hand, fibula, uh, fibula treatment to donor mice did not retain intact islets and tended to increase higher score islets. This is a summary of the adoptive transfer experiment. While the difference was not significant because of the small number of mice in each group and large inter-individual vari variation, but fibula feeding to recipient mice tended to increase the ratio of intact islets and the mean insulitis score tended to be slightly lower. On the contrary, donor treatment with fibula could not keep the ratio of intact islets as compared to control, no fibula control group, and rather increased the ratio of severely damaged islets. Mean insulitis score tended to increase as compared with no fibula control. These results support that fibula might suppress the onset of diabetes through keeping an enough number of intact islets in pancreas, not through inhibiting the step of islet-specific T cell activation. 
Regeneration of damaged diets have been indicated by many researchers. Mouse diet beta cells is known to be generated by simple self-duplication or from generation from embryonic stem cells and from rare adult progenitor cells under extremely under extreme circumstances by direct reprogramming. After a rapid expansion in the in the early life stages, beta cells replicate at an extremely low rate in adult rodents. However, pancreatic beta cells has been reported to retain the capacity to elevate their replication rate in response to physiological challenges including gestation, high blood sugar, pancreatic injury, and insulin resistance. Although the genetic mechanisms controlling beta cells proliferation are incompletely understood. Finally, uh, therefore, finally, we try to examine the influence of Hubra treatment on the expression of PDX1 and related molecules. These molecules, PDX1, FOXO1, REG2, PDCD4, have been known to involve in the function proliferation, regeneration, and survival of islet beta cells. So, whole pancreas RNA was, was extracted and used for RT-PCR and RT-QPCR to compare their expression. Messenger RNA levels of these genes at 19 and 22 weeks of age of NOD female mice were similar among the groups. Immunohistochemical analysis also detected on the tissue sections uh, similar levels of insulin, PDCD4, and PDX1 in control diet fat group and 0.5% Hubra fat group. However, in the 0.5% Hubra fat group, the distribution of PDX1, intracellular distribution of PDX1, tended to be greater in the nuclei. compared to the control diet group. Intracellular localization of PDX1 is important for its function as a transcription factor. In response to various signals, PDX1 is phosphorylated and translocated into nuclei and enhance and enhance the expression of target genes such as insulin and islet cell survival related genes. Then, in our future study, intracellular localization of PDX1 and its competitive molecule FOXO1 should be clearly, detailedly analyzed at various ages of mice, we think. This is our present hypothetical schema of suppressive effect of Hubra. In the spontaneously occurring diabetes model of NOD female mice, dietary administration of 0.5% Hubra throughout the experimental period lowered the insulin score and delayed the onset of diabetes. Dietary Hubra works probably through maintaining the number of intact islets in pancreas. We expect PDX1 as a candidate target of Hubra, but further experiments are necessary to explain the suppressive mechanisms clearly. Ameliorating effects of Hubra administration on the type 1 diabetes after the onset of diabetes, type 1 diabetes should also be examined in animal model. Although we do not yet identify the suppressive components, phenolic polyphenol 
derivatives may be one of the important candidates. We think these components, these compounds have been reported to enhance beta cell viability and promote its proliferation, and also to have anti diabetic actions via various mechanisms, including increased expression of PDX1. Or a restoration of nuclear localization of this molecule. Other antioxidative components or cell growth promoting components in Hubula or multiple components mediated synergistic effect are also possible candidate mechanisms, I think. In our present results, 5% Dietary fubula was not effective. We speculate the reason that higher concentration of fubula might enhance TH1 immunity and reverse its beneficial effects on spontaneously occurring diabetes in this mice. Various phenolic acid polyphenol derivatives contained in fubula have been known to possess beneficial effects on diabetes through enhancing beta cell viability and its proliferation. These actions could explain the suppressive effect of fubula at lower concentration. On the other hand, we previously reported that at higher concentration, 5% or 10% dietary fubula have increased resident lactobacillus species in rat intestine. Some species of lactobacillus have been known to activate TH1 immunity, mm. while another type of lactobacillus, intestinal lactobacillus, uh, mitigate, have been reported to mitigate type 1 diabetes. This is our conclusion. Dietary administration of fubula at 0.5% delays the spontaneous onset of diabetes in NOD female mice, probably through maintaining the number of intact islets in pancreas. Fubula is commercially available processed food, and no harmful phenomenon has been observed in human consumers. In our clinical study, 36 healthy volunteers have taken 7 grams of fubula after every meal for two, two weeks, but no adverse effect was observed. However, for clinical application, ameliorating effects of fubula after an onset of type 1 diabetes should be examined. Furthermore, active components and their suppressive mechanisms, including their optimal dose for human, should be clarified in future studies. Thank you very much for your attention.